I started with a character sprite and then PNG tuber and then PNG tuber plus and then now a VTuber and here I'm going to show you how I did it so this video can also be for artists that wanted to make their VTuber and also for non-artists that also wanted to become a VTuber an artist perspective might come in handy when you want to make your VTuber so yeah, come along I'm shortening the, the whole long process into three steps first is the design so there's lots of ways you can design your VTuber you can use uh, avatar app or like dress up game or like avatar customizable app to custom your VTuber how you want it to be, how you like it to be or you can also use uh, this web called Pcrew there's lots of cool Pcrew out there you can use to design your VTuber or there's another way is to commission someone custom design of how you want it to be a tip if you want to commission someone you can also use the Pcrew avatar custom and then save the picture and then show it to your artist of how you want it to be it'll be incredibly helpful any facial reference is very helpful for an artist it helps a lot and it helps guide them through the design that you want but in my case i actually already have the design hold up let me show you so as you can see here this is actually the main design the very basic default design of my vtuber i use this picture a lot whenever i draw my character sprite and this is my my persona design and i feel like this design has already stick with me you know since i used it a lot in my videos as well but but the thing is uh usually vtubers are like very extra and i want to be extra too and i want to create another design besides this one so this is the process this is the process of me designing my character every design process is different but for me i like to draw the base and then just well bam the design right there okay see here see this this is also koyu it's completely different but because i want it to be extra so i put so much details into it in the design process since i designed it myself so i like to try out some stuff like the colors i've been liking black outfit a lot lately for my persona so i want to make it black but then i think maybe not maybe not Okay, pink, pink. I like pink. I'm thinking of pink and yellow, but um doesn't really suit. So I make it so make it the whole orange. Make the whole outfit is yellow orange. Okay, so you see this design? It's very detailed and after like 80% finishing the design, I didn't really like it. So I decided to just scratch that, start a new one. As you can see here, I'm sticking with the main design, which is this one. Let's just put the design here in the corner. I am using this Chibi, Chibi Sona design as a reference for the VTuber design. But also add some extra sprinkles. Basically, my default Sona design, but make it more extra. But I'm still keeping the iconic parts like the colors and the hoodie. And then some touch that makes it extra is that I added this like colorful clips. It's so cute. I love it a lot. But I feel like the first design is also very pretty and i don't want to waste it so i decided to just finish it even though i didn't use it i might use it someday but i'm not gonna use it for now oh look how pretty she is i love her i love it this is so this is so pretty but it doesn't really screams koyu you know so i not using it that's okay just gonna finish it anyway and then this is the finished final design as you can see the left one is the pink one i still very much love her but i'm not really feeling 
this design and then for the second one i feel like it's more koyu you know so i decided to go with the second design and that is it for the design process and then next we have the actual live 2d model this is serious mode now we're gonna be more serious because live 2d model is not easy to make the reason design is actually pretty important to me at least is that i heavily relied to make the vtuber art as you can see here i used the design color sketch and then i line each part that i want to make move the eyes the face the par body parts that what i want to make move i lined it all and then for the colors here i'm drawing the eye and then copy paste it because gotta make it symmetrical and then the head as you can see here the hair is separated into a lot of parts but i'm sure there's a lot more artists out there that did more parts in their hair but i want to i don't really want to make my vtuber model too complicated since i'm starting from zero after all Maybe after learning, I can slowly improve and add more stuff, but that is for future me to handle. This is the model view. Live 2D model requires a very big canvas if you want it in higher quality. And then also gonna take a lot of space and layers for me since I use Ibis Paint to draw. Okay, look at how many layers. This is like the top the face especially has so much layers and then the body the eyes and such guys this is why live 2d is so expensive it's not easy to make it and this is only the upper body part and the waist for the legs i have to start a new canvas and then continue from there because um this ibis paint can't handle it anymore <laughs> This canvas is too big. My Ibis paint can't handle it anymore and it will lag. So instead of lagging, I decided to just start to just continue with a new canvas. Because I have the design sketch, so that is really not really a problem to me. This is why a design sketch is especially very helpful when making a VTuber model and art in general. That is it for the live 2D layers. Perhaps we can do a model review. So, this is my model, and it's, it's rigged by me. So, this is the comparison with the sketch. It's, it's like one per one same because I heavily rely on the sketch after all, but it's also more rendered and more clean. So cute, look at that. I'm a VTuber now, isn't that cool? I'm, I can't wait to use this model for like my other videos and stuff. I actually want to try doing gaming. The thing about VTuber is that the software is really heavy. So have some mercy on my PC. Step 3. So you have your finished live 2D model art, right? What's next? Well, the art can't move by itself. So you need to rig it. Or you can just commission someone to rig it for you because rigging is also a hell of work i don't have any footage of me rigging this model because i want to rig in peace so uh we're just gonna skip that part for rigging you can actually find a lot of tutorials in youtube for rigging like there's so much rigging tutorial nowadays just uh, yeah you can rig it you can I also learned a lot from them and and but my rigging is not the best because I had to learn from zero from basic stuff. Okay, actually not really. This is my second attempt on making a live 2D model and I'm gonna show you my very first attempt. Behold, I present to you Koyu Catboy. It's it's still Koyu but in a catboy form. I can be a VTuber girl and I also can be a catboy VTuber if I want to whenever i want so this is my first first ever son that is me but also my son you know the vtuber mama papa term 
I draw this like two years ago. I also rigged it two years ago. Uh, recently, I fixed the mount rigging because while everything is fine, the mount rigging is kind of doesn't really work back then. So I fixed it with my recent knowledge. So yeah, this is the first model. It's so cute. He's so cute. I love it. So this is what I learned from two years ago making live 2D model is that um, always start from basic start with something easy is what i mean because that is my mistake that is the mistake that i have made you know you, you should see the toggles i'm gonna show you the toggles that i made the amount of toggles that i made first no sweater toggles no um cardigan toggle cat mark okay i love it though don't, don't get me wrong i love these toggles they're so fun but 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 holy sh but holy they are a lot of work then I also have, this is for the moments where I want to think about my choices. And then we have, hello, hello, new people here. So yeah, this is one of my mistakes as making in making my VTuber model is that I, I started with an over complicated model. It's, it turned out well in the end. So maybe it's not really a mistake. Who knows? It depends on the perspective. But for me, I feel like I will be more open to learning if I started with something simple and then from there I like started to improve stuff. And that is for the rigging part. Yes, there's no footage at all. So since my for this VTuber model is very basic, the hands are down, but I thought maybe I could make it a little bit extra by making some separate VTuber item for this model. Like this boba cup as you can see. I can make my VTuber hold a boba cup while we talk about stuff, you know, talk about art while drinking our boba, our 2D boba. Before I make the hand asset, I screenshotted my live 2D and then lower the opacity and then start drawing from there as a guidance. Here I'm making a controller for me so whenever I play games, I can just use this and it looks really cute and all. I think it's on the new, I love it so much. Then here I'm making a boba. Look, 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 this is the video process and this is me holding a my booba. I actually plan to make a coffee cup at first. See here, I actually plan to make a coffee cup at first, but then I thought like, coffee cup isn't really on brand with this cute VTuber model, so I changed it to boba because it's cuter. And if you notice, the boba is heart shaped, which is on the, yeah, I love it. Obviously, this model is not really rig the best. I think I can definitely improve or I should just pay someone to rig it for me. It moves decently, so I'm happy with it. Also, one of the reasons that I decided to draw and rig my own VTuber model is that so I can put this in my portfolio, yeah, and learn some new stuff. So, um, I hope this video helps if you wanted to become a VTuber. Feel free to let me know if you have any questions and stuff. But this is just my experience making a live 2D model and I really enjoyed it. I have I now have two usable VTuber models that I can use and then I have knowledge. I also have some footage of me playing some games. The VTuber might lag because of Detroit, but I hope not. Oh, my PC is heating up. This is me testing the limit of my PC right now. Please. You can do it. Okay, this is when they are this is at crazy. the thing. If they catch us, we're dead. What do we do now? We need to find the Cyberlife warehouse. That's where they keep the spare parts and the blue blood. Follow me. I can run YouTube Studio, OBS, and Detroit. It, I don't think it can last long. Even the Detroit is quite laggy. Oh my God, the Detroit is so laggy. Don't let them see us. Watch out. 
Oh, I love Nord. Now what do we do? I'll find another way. Troy itself is already quite heavy for my PC, and my PC is like picking up really, really hot whenever I play Detroit, so trying to play Detroit with YouTube Studio and OBS is definitely challenging. Nothing I can't handle. Dang it, the lag is me. Nord, Nord, you are not saying nice. People you're saying nice word, but you that. didn't mean it. Why are you secure. saying it? Oh no, guys. Sorry, guys. Um. Uh, fuck. The lag. I'ma just okay. Bye. Promotion segment. So, are you a VTuber? If you have your own model already and you want to maybe perhaps level up your stream, you can always improve your stream by by wearing a cute stream asset like this one. This doesn't suit you. You can also use this stream asset and you can get these assets at my coffee. I made them. I also have my commissions up in my feed again. Thank you for watching. See you next time.